Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us and today we're gonna talk about being a financial Jedi and what that takes. If you're interested in more videos like this, please hit the like button and subscribe to more videos. So what does it take to be a financial or a personal Jedi in your life? Well, if you remember... Adventure, excitement, Jedi craves not these things. Removing emotion from certain decisions in your life will help you become a financial Jedi. If you wanna make financial decisions a lot easier, remove emotion. Take the fear out of the decisions that you're trying to make. I've had questions over the last few weeks when I share my uh, investment portfolio. Will I lose money? Yes. The short answer is yes. But if you remove the fear that's associated to losing that money, if you know you've set apart uh, a portion of your income to go into investing or savings, uh, specifically in the investing side, you will potentially lose some of that money, if not all of it. So if you remove the emotion from that, if you're scared of losing that money, then you're gonna stop yourself from moving forward. But you also stop yourself from gaining a lot. Now over the last few weeks, I've invested $10 here, $50 there, a nominal amount, you know, comparatively speaking. But when you remove some of the emotion, you just say, I'm throwing $10 at this stock. And if I lose it, then I lose it, it's $10. But if you, if you gain something from it, if, you're, if your portfolio starts to gain over the months and the years of holding onto these stocks, you'll see a lot better outcome. And when you remove some of that emotion from it, it really does take a lot of the fear away from it. Fear is one of the biggest driving forces that stops people from doing a lot of things in their life be it taking control of their finances or even control of their emotions within a relationship. So if you're able to remove some of these emotions, specifically fear, you potentially set yourself up for a successful life of investing and making new waves in your life. Fear keeps a lot of us from taking risks, uh, and rightfully so in certain instances. But when it comes to our finances and when it comes to life altering or life changing decisions, fear has a place that can keep us safe, but it also has a point where it holds us back. I know in my life when fear was introduced into a particular situation, it kept me from looking at our finances in a, in a more realistic standpoint. It also kept me asleep at the wheel in terms of not addressing the issues in our finances. We weren't giving, uh, we weren't setting aside anything for saving or investing, and a lot of that fear was predicated on what's the point? What's the point in changing any of this if the global economy just collapses? What's the point of changing any of this if you know we're living in the end times? So a lot of fear-based decision-making kept me from moving forward in our life and ensuring that if any of those things never did happen, then I would just be stuck in the same place. If fear is something that keeps you from making decisions, here's what I would recommend. Write down all the pros and all the cons of a particular situation. Let's say you wanna invest, and you're gonna take $10 and you're gonna invest it in a particular stock. And the pros to that would be, you are now an investor. You are now part owner of a particular company. You also set yourself up, especially if it's a dividend paying stock, to get a return on that investment. And the more that you invest in that particular stock and the more dividends that you get out of that, the more wealth that you can accumulate. It's the law of compounding. Some of the cons that are associated to that is you could lose that money. But that's really it. We're talking about losing $10. Most of you will spend $10 at Starbucks or going to a movie theater or some other frivolous thing. If you take that $10 and instead of buying Starbucks, you actually bought the company Starbucks, you might be in a better position. Just remember, emotion can stop you from making some good decisions in your life. And it can also stop you from making some bad ones. If you can find the happy medium and manage your emotions and look at the pros and the cons of a, of a particular situation, you stand to gain a lot more than you lose. If you find videos like these helpful and motivating, I will only ask that you leave us a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more videos. And there's a truck coming. The perks of living in the country, which then means the dog is going crazy.